Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my shop. Um, I am going to demonstrate, well, it's built already, but I'm gonna show you how you can build a Thien separator, T-H-E-I-N, Thien separator, which is a dust separator that works amazingly well. I kind of, I went on the internet and looked at quite a few different um, versions of it, and some of which are beautiful, and but they just cost $150 to build. Um, I was looking for something that was a little more reasonable, and um, I ended up kind of franken, franken separatoring myself a, uh, a a hybrid of all the different varieties I saw. I guess um, mine uh, uses two buckets, two five-gallon Home Depot or whatever buckets that are uh, probably three under four bucks a piece, and two lids that are under two dollars a piece. So twelve bucks worth of give or take 12 bucks worth of buckets, etc. And then some two inch PVC, which I had pieces here, but uh, a stick of PVC, two inch PVC is like $3. You need about a half a stick, but a half a stick costs 20 cents less than a full stick. So you might as well just have some in your shop for later on. Um, taking, uh, getting also a couple of, uh, I don't know, let's see, three long sweep 90s, because I'm just guessing for the flow, if you get a short sweep, you're turning the corner faster, you're going to slow the flow down a little bit. But So three short, uh, long sweep, sweep 90s, um, and a couple of uh, male or female PVC to male threaded, two inch thread for the, for the uh, coming out of the bucket and one going into your shop vac, which I'll explain in a second. Okay, this is my finished separator. The, uh, my shop vac, I have them sitting on a cart. So uh, I can move it around the shop. If you have a spot uh, where you can keep it, you could keep it in a stationary spot and save the 20 bucks for building the cart. Um, I know Home Depot has 20 foot um, shop vac cords or uh, uh, hoses that you can buy that would, in most people's shop, probably 20 feet if you put the, the shop vac centrally located, it would run anywhere in your shop pretty much. So, But I have mine mobile because my my shop's not that big. Um, anyway, here's a, a close-up of the plumbing. Come out of the out of the uh, the shop vac. That's a two-inch female to two-inch threaded male, which I ground down. You taper it so it kind of taps into your into your shop vac. If you're familiar with the, the the piece that plugs normally plugs in the shop vac, it's got a little bit of a taper to it. Short nipple here, long sweep 90, nipple here, a long sweep 90, nipple, long sweep 90, into another nipple here, um, and then into another two inch female to two inch threaded connector. Now I put a piece of wood on the top of mine. I started out putting, um, putting it right through the plastic top of the bucket, which did not work. It was just way too flimsy. Um, this, let me, I'm gonna open this thing up, hold on. Now there's the inside of my bucket. I took a, the uh, two inch threads come into it, drill a hole through the wood and through the bucket. And then I screwed the, as you can see, screwed the bucket lid to the, the wood so it's going to be nice and stable. And then put a two inch electrical lock nut, which works perfectly, onto the end of the two inch connector. So it just goes through the top and that's the intake of the, the bucket. Then. This is the inside of the bucket. You have a piece of two inch PVC. This is a coupling. Now this right now, the, the, I'm gonna work on a, a little better uh, fitting connection here, but this is just a piece of PVC and a piece of two inch coupling. And then I stick my thing in and put some macaroni duct tape that my daughter gave me uh, last Christmas. Anyway, that goes into the bucket. And I cut it at a 45 degree angle. I've, I've seen people say that you should cut it at a, at a 70 degree angle, whatever. This seems to work really, really well. Um, I put uh, aluminum tape, you know, the, the, uh, the metal duct tape that they that actually is for ducts, um, to seal it to the outside. And then I siliconed, siliconed it on the outside, screwed, put a couple of screws here to just hold this piece inside the bucket. And then I made a piece of wood with a curve to fit the PVC. I threaded it through, or, or screwed it through, so it just goes into the to PVC, so it's not gonna block the flow. And then I also took and fastened 
that piece into the into the wood through the bucket so that holds well the bottom of this is just strictly a bucket it's not there's nothing fancy about it let me open this up and I'll show you all right back to the separator the, this is the upper bucket I cut a piece of wood that's the size of it's it's about I don't know six inches up from the bottom of the top bucket I screwed it in all the way around and then I took and cut, well, before I screwed it in, I cut a, a slot. Let me turn this so you can see a little better. I cut a slot about an inch and a quarter wide from directly underneath the end of this thing around about, whoop, around a third of the bucket. Okay, so it's inch and a quarter. It's inch and a quarter wide, inch and a quarter here, and it's about a third of the bucket. So that's as simple as this is. You take the top um, of the second bucket and you cut the center of it out and then thread that, I mean sl slide that onto this, the top bucket, which you have cut the bottom off. I just cut a, a half inch off. Um, so that the, the, the bucket, the top bucket slides through the cap to the second bucket. And that's just so you can stick it on the bucket, it just stays on and all the dust goes in the bottom bucket. So uh, that's the basic, the basic idea. I put, you know, uh, um, I put little cleats on my on my little car here to keep something from stuff from bouncing around or moving. Took the wheels off my off of my uh, my shop vac, the big one, and then I permanently plumb it. But I didn't glue anything. I just stick them. It, it's it doesn't it doesn't fall apart because you're not banging it or pulling on it, whatever. So now I'm going to show you the inside of the bucket. Try to keep my head out of the way so you see how clean that is. There's I, I brushed cleaned it so it's it's like perfectly clean. Oh, let me focus. So it should it should give you a, a very good indication of actually how much dust is going to get into this bucket through the theme separator. All right, now I'm going to show you the other bucket. There's the other bucket. This is the bottom bucket of the theme separator. I dumped the, dumped the sawdust on the floor, and that's what I'm gonna suck up. So give me a second here, I'll put the thing back together and show you how well it works. Now, I got this thing plugged in. I'm gonna put my hearing protection on because my shop vac is the loudest shop vac in the world. And we're gonna suck this up and show you how well this one works. All right, I actually took off the uh, the bag I used to have a filter bag over the filter in my in my shop vac you know the, the pleated filter I had a, one of those filter bags over that you get the, with the rubber band around it and I took that off because no dust gets in the, the shop vac or so little it doesn't it won't really matter and the the suction seems to be way better now because when you have the filter bag on you get the little fine fine particles that that stick on the outside of the bag and your surface area is so much smaller to begin with then you get the little fine dust and it clogs it up like immediately. So I took that off and the suction, you saw how incredibly fast it goes. So now we're gonna take the camera and we're gonna walk over there, show you how much is in the bucket, etc. Okay, here we go. This is the, the, the shop vac and here I'll show you how much dust is in the shop vac. Look at that. Little tiny bits of dust in the corner To fill up, it's crazy. Now I'm gonna, I gotta set the camera down to pop the top off of the separator, show you all this, the sawdust in there. All right, folks, I took the bucket apart. There's the sawdust in the inside of the bottom bucket. And like I showed you, there's like no sawdust, almost no sawdust in the in the shop vac. So your filter is gonna stay clean for years, literally years. But so the, the pleated filter doesn't get any dust in it. There's none in the bucket. And it's all in here. And now this, I just had that whole pile, but I mean, it would take a while for you to to, uh, to fill up a bucket like this. And it's as easy as popping the top off, since like I said, there's no glue on the joints. You pop the top off, you dump that one out, you dump the uh, the bottom bucket out, put it back together, where you go. Anyway, I'm hoping that everybody uh, can use this and uh, make this incredibly 
just a spectacular separator for their own shot. Thanks a bunch.